Okay, now that they have your attention, <laughs> it's great to see everybody here and be part of this. This is an absolutely fantastic event, and I guarantee you won't see anything like it anywhere else in Lynchburg today or probably at any other time. So this is an opportunity for us to gather and hear some fantastic music, but also one of the reasons why we're doing this is because our organ, which you just got a chance to hear, is going to need some repairs. Now, it's not because there's anything wrong with the organ, but to upkeep and so forth. It's going to cost us a little bit of money to keep it in good working order. So the love offering that we're going to take today, or that have an opportunity for you to give today, there would be plates in the back as you leave that you can put your offering in. That offering is going to go to offset the cost of the repairs to the organ. But without further ado, we want to say a prayer and get back to the music. So let us pray. Most gracious and loving God, we thank you for the musicians who give themselves today, not just to our entertainment, but also for your glory. What they do, O oh God, is guided by your angels that touches their hands and reaches out through them to touch our hearts. We ask, O oh God, that you bless them. Lift them up and let the music be music not just to our ears, but for your glory. All for the good that we do here in this work of this church for your kingdom. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.
Is this where the music hall is? Wait, wait a minute. Let me let me call Margaret. Margaret, tie up the mules, honey. They are. This is the place. Just hook up the wagon and tie up the mules. Okay. All right. See you in a minute. Hey, look at all the people and all these bananas and pianos. I mean. Ah, hi, I'm, my name is Perkins. Oh, sorry, I got my outside hat on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm from Pea Ridge, Arkansas. Anybody here from Pea Ridge? Nobody here from Pea Ridge? Well, I'm, Margaret's outside tying up a new, we came over here in a wagon. <coughs> but there's only two of us picking boys left in our little section of the, of the near Pea Ridge. All them rich pickings that live in the town. We live up in the hall. My brother's name is Easy Pickings. My name is Slim Pickings. And he's the Easy Pickings. But he's, he can't be here because he's in prison. He tried to be like them NASCAR boys. When they first started, they ran moonshine. And that's what he did. He got caught. So he's in prison. But anyway... Pea Ridge is about 40 miles from Oklahoma and about 40 miles from Missouri, or as I call it, Misery. <laughs> you know the, where that Branson place is? It's got all them shows. Well, anyway, Pea Ridge had a famous battle in the Civil War, and a lot of boys lost their lives. But anyway, we live up in the Holla, and... It's a small community. It's only one church, and it ain't half as big, ain't a third as big as this one. We can't get 30 people in there on a good day. And that's full. Anyway, we had so few people going to church, we had, first Sunday was for the Methodists. Y'all Methodists, right? I don't see any casseroles. Y'all, that's, that's famous. Methodists are famous for casseroles. My mama used to carry a casserole to church every Sunday. Anyway, first Sunday was the Methodists, and the second Sunday was the Baptists, and I can't remember who all the other people went, but the fifth Sunday was for the atheists. <laughs> but anyway, it's, we didn't have enough people in the church to support you know, a, a full-time minister, so we'd have a circuit rider. But the Baptist church... They wanted the person there all the time. So what they did was, Pastor Bob and his wife Grace had a side business. It wasn't bootlegging like my brother, but it was a side business. They ran the barber shop. So one day, an old buddy of mine went down there. He got tired of shaving himself, so he went down there to get a shave. And he got in there, and Bob, Pastor Bob wasn't, wasn't anywhere around. So... Grace was there, and she said, I can give you a shave. And she, he said, well, okay. So she shaved him, and then he said, well, how much do I owe you? She said, $20. He hit the ceiling. $20? She said, I guarantee it's a close shave. You won't, you won't have to shave again for a long time. So he said, I don't believe that. So he gave her $20. So anyway, he goes on home. Next day, his face is still smooth and clean. A week goes by, still smooth and clean. Next week goes by, it's still smooth. So he goes back down there to the barber shop, and Pastor Bob is in there now. He said, Grace shaved me the other day, or a couple weeks ago, and it's still smooth. He says, you've been shaved by Grace. And just remember, once, once shaved, always shaved. So anyway, we were sitting there back up in a holler, and uh, Pea Ridge started expanding. You know how, the, how towns just take over other things and move out? So we were sitting there, and this guy comes by, and he said, uh, Slim, have you lived up here all your life? And I said, not yet. 
and he made us an offer on our house. So we, we decided we'd hitch up the wagon to the mule and just head off. We wanted to go to Memphis first, okay, because we'd all heard about Elvis. We wanted to see where Elvis lived. So we got there, and we found the place, and the lady said Elvis had died. So that was, that was so sad. So then we just kept on east, and we saw somewhere on a sign or poster in a store somewhere about this musicale that y'all were having today. So we decided we'd come on up here and do that. Now, there's a song that I play, and I doubt if any of you remember what it is, but it was in a movie. It was in a movie. And I didn't go to see the movie because it talked about moving all these uh, ants and spiders and everything around, all these insects, moving them around, transporting them somewhere. You know what the movie was called was Deliver Ants. <laughs> but I got, I know one of the, one of the little songs, let's see if y'all remember, it, it, it was in the movie. Let's see here. You from Pea Ridge? <laughs> She's bound to be from Pea Ridge. <laughs> bound to be. I'm going to tell Margaret, I don't know what's holding her up, but y'all have fun listening to the next, these Arkansas travelers here. I'm, I'm really an Arkansas traveler. See y'all. We got my outside hat.
Good afternoon. <clears throat> I would like to take just a few minutes to introduce some of the keyboard players today. Uh, so wherever you are, when I call you, just wave to everybody. The first one is Mary Murphy. <laughs> Mary's a retired elementary school teacher. She's been a member of Fort Hill since the early 1960s. And since the very beginning, she's been very involved in the Ministry of Music here. The second one is another retired elementary school teacher, Jean Fielding. <laughs> Jean taught school for 32 years. Uh, now we think she's moved in and lives here at Fort Hill. Uh, she's been on the property about 23 hours a day lately as co-coordinator co of our Kingdom Kids ministry. The third one is uh, no stranger to the Lynchburg music scene. That's Nancy Van Zandt. <laughs> you may have heard uh, Nancy play bells, or piano, or organ, or trumpet, or accordion, or kazoo, or who knows what else. Uh, and she's also frequently seen around town in musical attire. She's known for her musical wardrobe. Uh, and then the next one we have is Madison Coghill. Madison is a second grader at Bedford Hills Elementary. She loves animals, horseback riding, scootering, and is currently enjoying her first year of piano lessons.
Daryl is very easily adjusting to her uh, recent retirement after teaching at, at Brookville Middle and Brookville High Schools for 35 years. And she has enjoyed sharing her gifts through church music throughout all these years. Uh, Dee Booth. Uh, <laughs> Dee's retired after 34 years as a private music teacher. She has participated in, in music ministry in a number of our local churches. And she is also, she's the visionary and the co-coordinator of our Kingdom Kids program. Um, Carol D. Robertson. <laughs> Carol D. is the mother of three young adults, one in college and two in graduate school. <laughs> she works at Holy Trinity Lutheran, and she's also a member of the Community Bells of the Blue Ridge Handbell Choir. And last but not least, where's Janet? Uh, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Janet as our beloved Minister of Music and Congregational here at Fort Hill. She's a director of uh, the Bells of the Blue Ridge Handbell Ensemble, and she has lovingly been given the nickname of the Claw. <laughs> and that is due to her ability to entice others to participate in many, many forms of music ministry. <laughs> Let me just say a, a few words about this next piece. It's a wonderful arrangement of various spirituals written for four pianos. And the melody is shared by all four pianists at various times. So listen carefully as the melody of the, the spiritual is just, it passes, it jumps from one piano to the other.
Isn't that wonderful? We are so blessed to be, um, be sharing this with you today. We love music and we love one another, and, um, and it's just a joy to have you all here with us. But it's just not fair that we're the only ones having fun here, and we wanted to share uh, this joy of making music with you. So if you look on the back of your program, you're going to help us with this last piece. Now, it's going to be a while coming, so, um, so, so, so don't get too anxious. We're going to play bells and piano and organ and go a little bit and play a little bit and then play a little bit more. And then Mary Murphy, you're going to be there? Are you All right. When she goes like this, then that means stand. All right? And then you're going to sing what's on the back page there, but we've got to learn it first. So we're going to learn it now. So, Daryl, give us a note. All right. Here we go. It goes like this. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore His sacred name. Come, Christians, follow where our Savior trod. It doesn't matter if it's one that's written in here. Just pick a note that just brings glory to God and just sing it with reckless abandon, all right? Um, we thank you for coming, and um, if you really enjoyed it, then just stay behind and say, I'd love to help you move one of these pianos back to where it goes. <laughs> all right? Um, this, this last hymn of the faith just exhorts Christians to carry the cross into the world. Surely the presence of the Lord has been in this place today, and we are to carry the cross out and, and serve in a Christ-like manner. So we thank you again for coming, and we invite you to listen to this closing piece, Lift High the Cross.